Do you know how to use Power Pivot tab in Excel? Let me demonstrate. So here you can see we have one data set like employee ID, then employee name, then department and then location. And in the next sheet, we have sales data set. And what we have common in this, we have employee ID that is common in these two data set. So I just want to make a relationship between these two data set first. So how we can do that with the help of Power Pivot, we can do it very easily. Simply we can load this data set in Power Pivot. We can go to Power Pivot tab. If you don't have this Power Pivot tab, you can check out my previous videos. I've already explained how we can add this Power Pivot tab. We can select this range we can click on add to data model first we need to load these two data set in power pivot so simply we are getting this message just by clicking on this add to data model we can check this my table has header and we can click on ok and this data set will be loaded in power pivot screen so one load one data set is loaded now we can close this for now and we have to load second data set also go to sales data set and now we can go to power pivot Click on add to data model again, just to load second data set. Now we can click on OK. And now we have in Power Pivot screen two data set. And just we need to create a relationship between these two data set. We can go to this diagram view and we will find here two data set that is table three and table four. And I need to create a relationship between these two data sets. So what is the common part? We can drag this employee ID to the second employee ID table in second table. So now we have a relationship between these two data set. You can see we have one line here means we have one relationship between these two data set. And now you can click on pivot table. We will get this dialog box, click on OK. And simply we have table three and table four that I have added right now in Power Pivot. So let's say I want to find out department by sales. So we can drag this department in row section amount in value section. So we are getting the summary. See, these two are from different, different tables. Still, we are getting the correct result because of creating the relationship between these two data set with the help of Power Pivot. If you like this video, don't forget to share this video. If you have any query in Excel, you can do comment in comment section. Thank you so much for watching.